Hello, soul loves. How are you? So we're in our first week of the Libra season. Full week. Happy birthday, Libra. And the first full week of the 12 weeks of autumn. So this energy will be an overlay for the next 12 weeks. So you can go back and look at my autumn for all signs and see what all of the energy is that it means for you. So this first week of the Libra season and the final week, as I said, of se in, in September ushers in dynamic energy and for harmonious and social social invites the cosmos is inviting you after a period of back-to-back -back retrogrades you're gonna feel like you're in a much needed place of fresh air the freshness that comes with this energy the recent equinox symbolizes uh, change in the season not only at an external level, but also it symbolizes the change of the seasons on the internal level too, as we move into autumn and we stand in earth meridian until it moves into, into metal. Okay, so all signs, this is really right now for the collective, but all signs are going to feel this. And it's going to feel deep and it's going to, you're going to resonate to this, um, a new solar season. You're going to feel the energies and the shift, the shift of all the energies. I'm Kimberly Crow with Celestial Juju and I'm a Western astrologer. And we're going to go through this week and what the energies are, touching on some moon stuff and in with all signs. And that's Molly in the background that's saying hello to you all. She does this every time that I get on here. So we also have this full moon this week. And um, it's Aries full moon in Libra. So, you know, they're opposite, opposites of each other. So it's going to, that happens on the 29th. And this full moon tends to be felt most potentially. The four days prior, the full moon and then after, we're in that energy. So you're going to, you're going to feel this energy feel this energy all week you're going to feel the transit so we may be collectively um feeling both stimulated and tired at the same time oh my god even my six-year-old granddaughter said to me god guys sometimes i just don't know how to sleep can i have a nighttime gummy <laughs> which is a melatonin and it's so you may have those days that you feel like i'm so tired but i just don't even know how to sleep so that energy may be coming up so stay hydrated this week stay grounded you know try to keep earthing it in and we've got some earth trines going on so that um use that energy of that so it's a fiery full moon when it's combined with venus is still in leo and so that's also, um, you know, real by Mars and so is Aries. And so we've got these, you know, high paired energies that we're dealing with. So the main astrological theme of the week has to do with taking bold leaps of faith in a direction that our heart desires without letting, without letting, without letting air limiting beliefs hold us back from a fresh start that we're dreaming of. So this moon is the harvest moon. And these are the main highlights that we're going to be receiving this week. So there's going to be a um, Mercury Tron jupiter so that's a vision of greater possibilities so that happens on monday we're in the energy of that so we're starting out the week with that and then we're going to end the week on friday with this full moon in aries which is the cosmos cosmic push to take bold action 
and then we're going to have a Venus Jupiter square, uh, which is going to be air clearing of in relationships and expansion in that. And what you want to partner with and expansion you want there. So that's also on the 29th. You want to talk, Molly? Uh, with, uh, oh, she's licking the microphone. As long as she doesn't chew it up. <laughs> so, okay. In the Mercury, there's a Mercury Uranus Tron. Um, which is going to urge us to try something new. And that happens on the 30th. So that energy is coming in. So this final week of September brings this transformative energy that crescends with the full moon in Aries. And the week's about courage, self-belief, and embracing changes some of which might uh, come to a, come as a surprise to you. You may be caught off guard with it and others may be caught off guard with it. Okay, so Monday, we're going to kickstart this week with the Mercury, the planet of communication, forming that supportive trine to, uh, with expansive Jupiter. This alignment could bring promising news. Stop, puppy. I'm trying to do my prompter thing over here and scroll and she's biting my fingers as I'm going like this and moving them. Okay. Promising news about projects or endeavors um, that you initiated around with the, with those um, new moons that were coming in, the, the new moons that you initiated on August the 9th and September the 4th, the energy that was in that. No, I may have just said those dates wrong. <laughs> Whatever those last two new moons were that we had. Okay, we had two of them. So the what you the seeds that you planted during that during that time period, the seeds that you laid down during this full moon, you're going to harvest those. So you may get some news around projects that you initiated during that time period. So it's an excellent time. Uh, for brainstorming and mapping out your big grand plans. So um, Tuesday, Wednesday, the 27th, 28th, the moon's going to be in Pisces. And so this moon's transition into intuitive Pisces on the 27th and 28th sets the stage for emotional and spiritual openness. And this is a perfect time to connect with your deeper self and ponder over life's large questions. Be prepared to tap into a well of creativity, spiritual wisdom during, during this time period. So you have the opportunity to do that. That energy is already coming in, in for me today. I've been out of it most of the day, bringing stuff in download after download. Okay. And so, um, Friday, The full moon. Okay, so this the week's going to reach this boiling point on Friday with this full moon at six degrees Aries. So it's known for its raw energy and its impulsiveness. So the Aries full moon um, is not to be taken lightly. Whether you're lighting fires of ambition or dousing emotional flames, <laughs> this celestial event is a cosmic catalyst for change marking the last super moon that we have this year it's the last one we've had a series of them and this is the last super moon before and it's the last full moon before the eclipse season kicks in on the 14th uh so this pay attention to any dramas unfolding, unfolding during this time period or revelations that are coming to light because they're going to be previewing your upcoming attractions. So the moon's alignment with this north node of destiny signals a time to break free of toxic patterns, particularly in relationships. See, the nodes right now are in Aries. So that's, that's what that's about. So uh, additionally, the... The additional aspects are this Venus Jupiter square on that same day as the moon. So this Venus Jupiter square is going to serve as a um, celestial cleanup crew 
clearing out the air after the summer's been marked with miscommunication from all those retrogrades and relationship drama. So use this energy to make amends for clarity and misunderstandings that may have came during that time period or walk away. <laughs> it's a good time to do that too. Either way, it's like endings, closures, and um, it can be gracious forgiveness too. Okay, so Saturday, we've got a Mercury Venus Tron in Libra. So it's going to close the week with a burst of innovation. Uh, thanks to the Mercury uh, Uranus Tron on the 30th. Embrace the unexpected. Explore new adventures, new avenues. It's not a day for routine or predictability. It's a day of electric change. So remember the changes um, initiated now are aligned with your true self and for your long-term growth. So don't, don't just be starting shit to start it is what they're saying. Think about this. Go to your soul. See what it is that wants to be dreamed in during during this time period. period. So um, the week's promises blend with courage, innovation, and deep emotional relationship shifts. So as you step into this high energy week, remember it all starts with you. And believing in yourself, the universe will take care of the rest of it for you. Okay, so that's what we have for the collective. Now we're going to do all signs. Okay, dearies, I'm Kimberly Crow and I am playing the role of a Western astrologer using whole sign systems for this energy analysis. Pay attention to your rising sign, which you have to know your birth time to know that this is what your soul came to be, the spark of light that it came to embody to be here in on this earth and the mission that it has. Your sun is your personality that you created, you reflect out, you brought in with your mouth, and it's what people reflect back to you, who they see you as. It's also authority figures in your chart and could represent father figures. Father like figures, your moon is your emotional IQ. It's your moods and how we how we are um how our moons, moons and our moods reflect out into the world. It also can represent mother in, in your chart too. Okay, so here we go. Aries, it's all about you. This moon is. So Aries, the energy alchemy for you is shine, illuminate. This is your moon. So illuminate and shine that energy out into out into the world. So the highlights for you this week are Sunday brings tension between solitude and social interactions. Monday may bring um, financial opportunities for you with that Jupiter energy. And Friday's full moon in Aries is going to make you the center of attention because that Lots going to be shining. Okay. So the sun in Libra is going to activate your relationship house. But it's um, it's in a quincunx with Saturn and in Pisces. And you're um, in your house of solitude. So you're going to be pulled back and forth between wanting to be social and craving to, you know, to um, autonomy. So choose wisely because you can have, you can have both. Okay, so on Monday, that trine between Mercury in Virgo and Jupiter in Taurus is going to set the stage for potential financial gain with a new business deal, a raise, or financial opportunities um, that have been in 
shaky shakiness there could be a new opportunity with that from the seeds that you planted earlier and as i said on friday that full moon is going to shine in your sign bring in both vulnerability and power to you unexpected opportunities may come but letting go of the past will be essential for you to move forward aries advice for this week your alchemy advice for this week is embrace um embrace the social and light-hearted energy that comes with the full moon in your sign say no to what burdens you and focus on inviting more harmony into your partnerships aries okay okay Taurus, embrace change and vulnerability. So the alchemy for you this week is burst. Use the burst of energy. Taurus, the overview of this week is self-reflection for you. Well, you may uh, prefer stability and um, changes this week are set to bring benefits for you. By the end of the week, you'll find inspiration and in what you've been lacking. Your key days are, this is the key notes for this week. Sunday, change is, um, isn't is your favorite, but tweaking out some systems could save you some time and some energy um, and money. Monday is a good day for romance. You could meet someone intriguing online or at, your, at a social gathering. Friday, the full moon brings sudden bursts of inspiration and closure for you. It's time to move forward with integrity so the advice for you this week is focus on innovation and spontaneous spon, spontaneous spon, spontaneous i can't say that word be spontaneous uh when it feels right open up to people who make you feel safe and you're not alone in this world so the in that forecast for you Take what you find useful, okay, with it. Sunday on the 24th, we started out the week. You had you had change that might have been difficult for you, but the sun in Libra and the Saturn in Pisces are telling you that minor adjustments to your daily routine can make a world of difference. The Mercury and Jupiter's trine on Monday could bring you new romantic interests or solidify existing relationships and be open with new interactions. Friday, the full moon in Aries, it's going to offer you a perfect time to rest. And in these quiet moments, you'll find a sudden burst of inspiration that might help you solve some problems that have been bothering you. Okay, so take that, take that energy tourist of of what is the connect to the burst of inspiration that's trying to come in for you okay sorry i was so um discombobulated with that and you're a earth sign and we're in earth we've got earth trying coming in gemini so this is a week of connections and revelations and your alchemy for the week is solutions. So use that energy and ask for the solutions to come. The week's going to push you to explore new options and deepen connections with your family and your friends. And it's also a good time uh, for partying and letting loose a little bit. So your key day, Sunday, you may find you may have a pivotal energy you may have to pivot between your responsibilities and your temptations to have fun on um, Monday. It's the perfect time for deepening family connections, perhaps over um, a video game, a movie, a cozy dinner, that kind of energy. And on Friday in the Aries full moon, it's going to turn the week into a party frenzy. You may get lots of social invites during this time period and also bring some solution to some problems that's been troubling you. So with that, the advice of the energy is with that sun being present in Libra to be more creative and social, be, but be discerning and honest in your friendships and your connections. So your highlights for the week is that battle between duty and fun 
the sense of uh, why Saturn is in Pisces is going to insist for you to attend to your responsibilities and you'll need to find balance. On Monday, the trine between Mercury and Jupiter brings wholesome family time to you, giving you a chance to deepen your connections. And Friday, with that full moon energy, you're going to get ready for a wild ride. The full moon in Aries is going to mark what could be your most adventurous night of the year. But with the following day, it could bring solutions to problems that um, have um, eluded you for a few months now. So embrace the manifold of the opportunities that are coming your way and the challenges. Focus on commitment and willingness to adapt and set the tone for the transformative energy and ask for the solution. Cancer, life, work, and everything in between is going to be the energy for you this week. And your mantra, your alchemy energy of the week to call in as to ask for Ford, how to move forward and what is the Ford energy that's here for you. So the overall um, overview for you for the week is as your cocoon at home, and let the love in. The Friday full moon invites you to career changing decisions and you'll feel both torn between traditional ways and your own rules, especially at home. But um, it's your time to shine, Cancer. So your key days this week, Sundays are going to be some tensions at home may arise around traditions, rules, and flexibilities. That was the, the start of the week, like, you know, this past Sunday. Monday, your uh, phone could be buzzing all day long with messages from friends and relatives, people looking for you for advice and conversation. On Friday, that full moon in Aries is going to mark significant turning point in your career. And if you've been waiting to take professional risks, the now is the time. So the advice with that for the week is balance your self-care with your increase social responsibilities especially in your workplace also use this week's energy to establish clear boundaries for better work and life balance so as you move forward with this week's energy um you may be asked for some changes in the dynamics of the household and feel some pressure um sunday the 24th poses a challenge you came in with the week of opposing a challenge at home with the sun and Libra making a, a quincunx to saturn and pisces and someone might not have been following the rules and uh, it could even a menu so be prepared for some changes so monday mercury and jupiter trying amplifies your communication skills and expect to be sought after for advice or companionship on Friday, that full moon in Aries is going to mark a pivotal moment for you in your career. Whether you're launching a new business or setting some new boundaries, it's time to step up and take the lead. Leap forward, leap forward. Okay, I'll leave you with that, Cancer and, and Leo. This week is your theme is adventures and financial rewards. And your alchemy word for the week is inspire inspire the world leo so the overview of this week for you promises a blend of financial gain and adventurous spirits while fi family matters may prove tricky this week will be uh, is about letting go of control and see where life takes you especially with travel and new um learning on the horizon so the key days sunday family members this sunday started out the week might disappoint you so be flexible and avoid the argument sunday it could be financial windfalls i mean monday uh are likely whether it's a raise or an increase in sales and your bank account will smile so friday the full moon in aries is going to bring encourages you to embark on a new adventure whether it be physical travel or intellectual pursuits and the world is your oyster and the advice with that energy is to stay open-minded 
to let go of the need to control every aspect of your life. And oh, if you're thinking about relocating or furthering your education, start exploring your options now during this illumination period because of this energy, um, this inspiring energy that's, that's coming up for you. That energy could be there to, to, um, to accelerate the energy. So remember Sunday, we started out with family members might not have been as, as reliable as you'd hoped. The sun in Libra brought in a challenging aspect with the Saturn in Pisces that required you to be, to adapt and keep peace within the family unit. So you can look and think, Oh my God, that's what that was about. Okay. So, um, Mercury's trine with Jupiter indicates a potential financial upswing, whether it's a long awaited raise or unexpected sales commission could make your bank account grow and Friday's full moon energy in Aries ushers in a sense of adventure, whether you're jetting off to an exotic location or diving into a new book, this day can expand your horizons. Okay, moving on to Capcorn. No, I'm sorry, Virgo. I was just going to skip a big chunk of them right there. God. Okay, so um, Virgo, it's a deep dive into the unknown. And your alchemy word for the week is release. Use the energy of release. So the overview of the week for you is about facing what you've been avoiding. Whether it's hard financial talk, new learning opportunity, or your own deep desires. This week could be transformative for you, especially regarding education and personal highlights. Sunday money talks might be uncomfortable, especially with a partner or a person who owes you. So stand your ground and be willing to um, stand your ground, but be willing to compromise. So that was how your week may have started out. Sorry, my puppy is does shitful stuff as soon as I get on the, on this recording. Okay, Monday. It's in the day for academic submitting applications related to education. Uh, your mind is sharp and your opportunities are ripe. And Friday's full moon in Aries is going to illuminate your hidden desires and potential for healing. Your inner world gets a burst of transformative energy. So with that, going into the overall energy of the week, the advice for you is to expand your mind, to think bigger. You're encouraged to focus on your financial and educational planning, but also to confront deep, perhaps hidden aspects of yourself as you release these energies. So the detailed forecast for the week, starting on this past Sunday, was the sun was in Libra, Queen Kunxing, the Saturn in Pisces, flagging potential disagreements about money, possibilities with partnerships or business associates. Tread carefully, be open to compromise. So think back what's going on, what's being set up for this time period as this moon's coming in. Okay, so the Mercury um, in Virgo trines the Jupiter in Taurus. If you're a student, it's a wonderful day. This was on Monday for um, acing a test or for everyone else to. And then it's an excellent time for you to broaden your education horizon. Friday, the full moon energy in Aries is going to dig some um, dig deep into your hidden desires, particularly around sexuality. And a Venus Jupiter square helps you experience um, healing in that area that you have been longing for. It's something about your own self -identif uh, identification. Okay, moving into into Libra. Happy birthday, Libras! Okay, Libra. This is self, relationship, new beginnings. And your alchemy word, your mantra, the alchemy energy is seek. Okay, overall, energy. 
Spotlight's on you. The sun is in your sign. It's the nurturing self, uh, compassion, and finding potential new relationships or deepening its um, existing ones. It's all about personal growth and financial growth. Blessings and personal reinvent, re, reinventing are likely to do. Be. So the key days this week, Sundays was feeling, uh, if you may have been feeling unprepared. So it's time for you to collect and plan your next steps. Monday is a day for material gains. It's a good time to apply for loans, scholarships, and seek financial advice. On Friday, that full moon energy in Aries sets the transformative tone in your relationships, and it could be a day of romantic completions and beginnings. So with that, the advice going in to the week and the overall detailed energy in this this rush of first day birthdays and social invitations remember to focus on yourself tune out the noise hone in to what makes your heart sing big changes in relationships are coming embrace them embrace them seek insight that's your word so your detailed court forecast started out with sunday with that queen the libra quincunx in saturn and pisces um, suggesting you might not feel ready for upcoming opportunities. Um, use your day to prepare and practice. My little Libra self stayed in bed with the migraine. Okay, Monday. Mercury in um, Virgo trines the Jupiter in Taurus, and it's a great day to apply for loans, grants, scholarships, and don't limit yourself to just one application seek seek okay friday with that full moon in aries the focus is going to be on relationships and signaling and i have not had my microphone plugged in the whole time signaling time for new romantic adventures don't be afraid to seek love in unexpected places okay moving on to on to scorpio Scorpio, the energy for you is spotlight, trust, action. And the alchemy word for you this week is run, 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 run. Okay, the overall energy for the week, the world wants to see you, what you're made of. It wants to see what you're made of, Scorpio, perhaps literally, whether it's showcasing your talents or finding the perfect match of love or work. You're encouraged to step up. Your key days this week, Sunday, you may be unexpectedly to be thrust into the spotlight. And so be prepared to showcase your skills. Monday was an excellent day for partnership. Friday, that full moon in Aries is going to shake you into action and possibly triggering some major steps in your career. So the advice for this detailed information that's coming is prioritize trust in relationships and embrace the spotlight. The full moon in Aries is pushing you towards meaningful action. Use the energy to propel yourself into new dimensions, especially professionally. Okay. So the detailed energy with that is that Sunday, that Libra Quincux and the um, Saturn in Pisces, someone could be pushing you into the spotlight, whether you're showing off your artistic skills or is your or business. Um, don't shy away. Run to the spotlight. OK, don't shy away and go into your cave, Scorpio. Monday, the Mercury in um, Virgo trines Jupiter in Taurus, creating a per perfect atmosphere for either business or partnerships of uh, romantic first dates and an excellent day for making valuable connections so friday the full moon in aries jolts you out of stagnation pushing you into bold new steps and especially concerning with your your career or other long time goals the mercury jupiter square accentuates how um new habits can fool 
can fuel your professional aspirations. Okay. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, your keynote words are professional. Perfe- oh, my God. Sagittarius, your key words for this week is professional high fives and emotional insights. And your alchemy word for the week is spontaneous. That's your energy. So the overall week um, beckons you to balance between professional and to be recognized in your professional and personal enjoyment. This vibrant mix of work and accomplishments and social fun with some family commitments thrown in. Key day, Sunday, you may face conflicting commitments between family and friends. Time to juggle, to prioritize. Monday may bring some professional recognition, growing um, review and even promotion. And that Friday full moon is emphasizing fun, creativity, and even romance. A good day for playful activities and reconnecting to misconnections. So the advice diving deeper into this for the week is to spot professional successes. Don't forget to enjoy what you like. There's a full moon lighting up your fun zone. Take advantage. Also, if unresolved family matters or secrets have been weighing on you, the lunar energy can help you clear the air. Okay, wait a minute. I got lost. So, Sunday brought in that energy of that Libra Quincunx with Saturn and Pisces, putting you at the crosswalk roads of family and obligations and social events and prioritize your communication with your needs effectively. So the energy Monday of the Mercury in Virgo trines with the Jupiter in Saturn. So it's a perfect setup for professional recognition. And you may find yourself at the center of attention for your excellent work. And on Friday with that full moon coming in, it's going to shine light on creativity and romance for you and be open for unexpected fun and the return of a misconnection from the past. Okay, Capcorn. Capcorn, your themes of the week are luck, love, and home and your alchemy Word for the week is bloom, bloom, Capricorn, bloom. The overview of the week is this week promises a blend of professional luck and domestic changes. Whether it's an opportunity landing on your lap or making bold directions in regarding your home, uh, you're in for a dynamic week. Sunday brought in um, the energy to be ready to refine your public presentation and clarity in your messages to others. Monday was a, is a rich day of romantic adventures and potential. Perfect updating your dating profiles or making social moves. And on Friday, that full moon is going to uh, put some focus on your home and consider redecorating or relocating for you. And the energy advice that comes in for the week is without the outside world, offering you plenty and to pay attention to your domestic life while the outside world is offering this to you. The full moon in Aries indicates a time for change at home environment and to um, embrace them. So with that energy of bloom within your detailed the detailed forecasts here, that sun in Libra, the quincunx of Saturn, which is your ruling sign in Pisces, you, you may be scrutinized. You may have felt this scrutiny energy that was over you on Sunday, prompting you to refine how you present yourself. Don't hesitate to seek advice to get your message across. So Monday brings in the energy of the Mercury in Virgo trines, Jupiter in Taurus, and you're looking for love, go all out in dating performances 
chances of making meaningful connections are high. And on Friday, that um, full moon in Aries challenges you to refine your home life, set clear boundaries for emotional safety. Okay, Aquarius. Yes. Aquarius, your themes for the week is New Horizons and Communication. And the alchemy mantra for you is Circulate. So the energy of the week on Sunday brought in the quincunx with Saturn and Pisces prompting you to revisit and adjust your travel plans for um, that better suited your budget. And on Monday, the Mercury in Virgo trines in Jupiter have you thinking, uh, Jupiter in Taurus, if you're thinking about buying a house or becoming a realtor, the stars are aligned for you in your favor. And then on Friday, the full moon in Aries signifies a time to encourage you with your social community. Embrace your new role as a uh, familiar face around the neighborhood because it's bringing in this energy of circulation to you with this overview energy. It's all about community, communication, um, and the full moon energizing your local scene. You're getting socially connected in meaningful ways. And the advice of this week's energy for you is the full moon provides you with an excellent platform for you to speak your truth, to utilize this and put forth proposals, engage in conversation and take up a leadership position. Okay. Pisces, your key words are sensuality and financial changes. And the alchemy word for you for the week is comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. The overall energy for you this week is twofold. You have material world and intimate life. Okay. Whether it's finding new ways to learn or save or navigating the central map. A magnetism you're um, exuding. Be ready for an intense day. Oh, an intense week. I'm sorry. Intense week. <laughs> the key day, Sunday, uh, brought in the energy of don't hesitate to seek help or resources from friends. Monday was is a great day for vehicle shopping. If you're looking for that or negotiating for better deals and transportation in Friday's full moon energizes your financial sector, offering opportunities and additional income to better budgeting. The advice that for the week is to keep your emotions in check, especially when it comes to new learning opportunities and relationships. The full moon could bring about significant shifts in your financial standing be prepared to adapt and to grow with the energy of comfort because the detailed energy that came in this week for you on sunday the sun in Libra, um queen cunts that saturn in pisces saturn is in you is in your sign pisces you have the resources at your disposal but you may hesitate to use them so ask for help to get over the inertia so on monday the mercury in virgo trines jupiter in taurus and if you're looking for a new vehicle it would be a great time to do the deal i think i already said that and the full moon in aries ushers in a period of new financial opportunities, prioritizing the alignment in your spending to your values and your financial health. So overall, the stars this week provide a diverse landscape overall, the stars this week provide a diverse landscape of opportunities while rethinking our boundaries and engaging in community 
and embracing financial wellness because the cosmos is whispering in the winds of change and change is coming. So remember that this just serves as a guide, but your choices are your path. So I'm going to come back and do a probably more detailed one on the moon and um, the energies that are happening on that moon. And then the next day too on the 30th, because I thought I had all that in here. And anyway, besides, so be blessed, be blessed. This is Kimberly with Celestial Juju. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming to planet earth. Thank you for incarnating and embodying. Think about this next 12 weeks, what you're going to do with the energies, go back and watch the, what the themes are for the whole autumn, um, season for you and what those energy are. Oh, I also did one on how to manifest and what stones to use. So you could go back and watch that because you could use those grids the whole time. You could use those grids anytime. It's just, you know, focused on, on, on uh, the equi- uh, the equinox. So thank you. It's Kimberly with Celestial Juju. Like, share, do all those things that you do. Oh, I've got some stuff coming up. I should have talked about that earlier. I am getting to do a big Venus vault and a Pluto transformation thing that we will work and walk through air transformations during this time period. So that's in the works. So if you want to know more about that, you can leave me an emoji or say, yeah, I want to know about it. So be blessed. Enjoy the week. Embrace this full moon energy. And go look at the super moon because it's going to be a doozy of energy and we're all going to feel it. And we may not remember how to sleep. (laughs) Be blessed.